All right, for this next video, I have to think of these bizarre examples, but they will help you remember these things. Uh, I guess for this next video, you're not a baker anymore. You are like a carpenter bee, and you're carving a tunnel through a block of wood. So let's start by getting you a block of wood. Uh, I'm just going to move me down here. You're going to go to create a new document. Uh, let's call this one... Um, Carpenter bee tunnel. I actually don't know. Do carpenter bees really like carve tunnels in the wood? You know, you always see the the holes, and I'm always impressed by that. You know, I don't see an insect as really being capable of of drilling wood. Um, but but I, I don't know. I'm I'm not a bee expert. Anyways, what you're gonna do is is you're gonna start out with a sketch in the front plane again. Select the front plane, click sketch, and let's get looking right at it. This did this last time. There we go. All right, and we're gonna draw, we're gonna start with a rectangle. So select this rectangle here. And remember the button's on, so it'll keep drawing rectangles for as long as you keep clicking until you turn that button off. Now, one thing I didn't talk about in the last video is if you Hold your mouse long enough over it, it will tell you the keyboard shortcut for all these commands. For rectangle, it's G. So if I want to turn that on and off without using my mouse, I can just hit G a bunch of times. All right. So you've always got those shortcuts. They are helpful. Get that rectangle drawn. All right. This rectangle is going to be a three by three. Now we need to dimension it. So it's three by three. So who remembers or do you go ahead and, and quiz yourself right now? Where is Mr. Barber going to go next with his mouse? In order to make sure that that rectangle's three by three. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Is he warm? Is he cold? Warmer? Warmer? Hot? There we go. All right. I, I'm sure you had that. Click the line. Say, hey, line, you have to be three inches. Click this line. Say, hey, line, you have to be three inches. Now at this point, stop and just double check that your, your rectangle is black, all right? We talked about that in the last video. We want those black sketches. Uh, if it's not, just click and drag and see what it is that's moving. If it's moving, it's not locked onto this origin. When you drew your rectangle, you didn't just click right on the origin. Uh, so you can fix that by making it coincident, which I'm not gonna dive into right now, although you could probably figure it out on your own, and I'll just give you a hint. You know, it has something to do with these buttons up here. Now, you have a three by three rectangle. We're going to make this into a cube. And to carve a tunnel through it, it needs to be three dimensional. You can't carve a tunnel through a, through a 2D object. So to do that, last time we used the revolve button. Next to the revolve button is a command called extrude. You're going to select that button. Now, again, in the window, there's going to be more windows. So we've got this window. We've only got one blue window this time, and then we've got options here uh, below it. Extrude one, solid, new. Don't worry about the rest of this for right now. And what we wanna do is we wanna make this, right now it's it's one inch. We wanna make it two inches thick, all right? And so now we got a three by three by two block of wood. And all you gotta do after that is select check. All right, we've, ex we've drawn a rectangle three by three. We made sure that rectangle is fully defined and it was black. And now we've made that rectangle grow to a two inch block of wood. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to draw a circle, which will be the, the doorway to that tunnel um, where that carpenter bee is going to start drilling. So select the front face. So I'm just going to click front here so I know I'm looking at the front face. So like the front face, and you're going to hit sketch again. Okay, now what you've done is you're sketching on the face of extrude one. If you look in this window here, okay, see how I turned that blue? It's because I've made it active. All right, face of extrude one. That's fine. That's what we want. And then select circle. Okay, now I'm just going to draw a circle willy nilly. And that's the circle I have. Now, what I want to do is define it. Remember, we want to make that circle black. We want to lock it in place. As of right now, we can make it bigger. We can just make it smaller. We can oopsies, make another one because somebody didn't turn off his circle command. 
All right. Um, we can move it all around the block. Okay. But this B has a particular spot he wants to start in. And he needs it to be at a, the diameter of, let's say, 0 0.60. I'm not looking at notes or anything. All improv. Little TVs. Tutorial steps and nowhere else. Just kidding. You will. They're actually originally SolidWorks tutorials. Now, we need to lock it in place. Because again, I can move that all around. I can even move it off the block. It will stay in the same plane. Notice I can move it off the block and it will, you know, move away from that plane. Because we said, hey, we're drawing you in this plane. Stay there. But you can move all over that plane. So we need to we need to fix that. And what I'm gonna do is use my smart dimension, turn that on, and I'm gonna go from here to here. And let's make that uh, one from the edge. And just to help with clarity, I'm going to do that. And then let's make it uh, one and a half from the top. Now, I hit S on my keyboard, and it brings up this little mini toolbar. And then I hit dimension. Um, just a habit thing. You can obviously always do it up here. Or you can use just D on your keyboard because it says that. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's you know, just kind of cool features I haven't played with yet. Huh, interesting. So my dimension button's on. Center of the hole to the top edge. Let's make that 1.5. Okay, the circle's black. We are A-OK -okay for that. All right, now you're going to do a similar step as you did last time. I'm going to get it oriented at an angle here. But you're going to hit this donut button again. All right. Now, when you hit this donut button again, you've got these two windows. It's asking, what is it you want to revolve? Now, you might be saying, Mr. Barchek, why are we making a donut on top of this block if you want to carve a tunnel? And if you're asking that, great. That means you're being proactive and you're thinking. But let me show you. Notice up here, you've got new, add, remove, and intersect. Last time when we made that new donut, we stayed in the new tab. All right, in this revolve one window, we want to switch over to the remove tab. All right, now what that's going to do is we're still revolving this circle. It still needs an axis to revolve around. I'm going to pick this line right here. And what that means is it's going to be able to do this, but this time it's subtracting material instead of adding it. And this edge of the block is going to be its center point. So that B is referencing this corner as he's carving this perfect cylinder. He's kind of alienistic. Okay, that's, that's the axis, revolve axis. So in these windows, I have something selected, sketch two, edge of extrude one, the rest of these features, I'm not going to have you worried about right this second. And what you'll see is you'll see an exit hole. Okay, and you can actually see through the block. All right, what that what that's doing is it's a perfect hole. Perfect circular cylindrical hole, quarter circle. I hit check. All right, and then now I'm done. I have this done. Now I just want to show you, just in case there's still a little bit of confusion, um, we can turn this section view on. Oh, Barbara checks in the way. Let's move him over here. Uh, turn section view on, and I'm just going to select this plane, and I'm just going to cut this block in half so that you can see right there. What's, what's really going on here? You can see that tunnel that that carpenter bee drove right through. So a pretty neat tool. We'll get into definitely more, much more realistic applications than, than bees and blocks wood. But uh, I am once again approaching my limit. I have 12 seconds left. And uh, let's see, well, I guess I'll close with, did you know that I have four sisters? That's true fact. 